This video is sponsored by BOTB, the dream car competition company. And from as little as 85p a ticket, you can choose from over 180 different cars to win. And you only have to be 16 and over to enter. Don't matter which country you live in, BOTB have had winners from all over the world. And today, you could also win your very own C63S AMG, just like the one in the video, which is worth £80,000. Guys, you can enter this for just £3.75p. They have a winner every single week and each competition closes on Sunday night. And if you do win, make sure to let me know. Thanks for listening. Man like Jeremy. What are you saying? Come on. What are you saying? Find you good? On the channel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. About time I brought my car into the channel. Yeah, so what? Yeah, I'm good, brother. Um, yeah, yeah. AMG C63. Yeah, C63. Yes. Lovely, lovely car, man. Love what you've done to it. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Before we do go into the car, um, Guys, Jeremy, he's a YouTuber, so yeah, what do you do, YouTube. like vlogs uh, and... Yeah, vlogs, pranks, challenges, Yeah, uh, mainly pranks with my brother. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just do all, t all types of uh, videos. Uh, yeah. Just like, mainly lifestyle. Yeah. But, yeah. You uh, made it as well, right? <laughs> yeah, nah. Man's elite out here. Nah, I'm just... Trust I'm, me. I'm just grinding, bro, like all the other YouTubers. How, how many subs you got? Uh, like 750k. Ross. Uh, yeah, nah, trying to, trying to hit that mill, bro. You want to hit the mill, innit? Trying to hit the mill. And how old are you, Jeremy? Uh, 21. Here now, 21 <laughs> years old. No. I'm 31, man. You got 10 years on me, man. Nah, bro. It's, it's, you it's, killed it's it. 21. So when did you start? When you was like, uh, like 17, 18, yeah. Wow, man. That's yeah. some inspirational shit, man. Nah, it wasn't and you got you but... going for the mill now? Yeah, going for the mill. AMG C63. Uh, you've had it tuned, haven't you? I've had it tuned at Wrench Studio. Shout Wrench Studios. Wrench, uh, shout out to Wrench Studios. Yeah. Ray and Hamid. Yeah. Uh, it's running a HCP um, tune. It's giving okay. about, about 620 brake horsepower. Wow, uh, so is it a stage two tune stage that two, they've done? Yeah, so what do they do? Yeah. Downpipes and... Downpipes and um, a remap. Remap, yeah? yeah. Okay. And uh, what made you go with the uh, C63 then, out of all the cars? Uh, I feel like it does everything. Like, I could be working other cars whilst mm. I'm in luxury. Like, Is this your first car you've had or have you had a car uh, previous to this? I had, a car, I had a 4 Series previous to this. Okay, Beamer Gang, yeah? Yeah, before that I had a Persia 206. Right, right, right. So, uh, Shit, talking. man, you stepped the levels up, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, talking performance-wise, uh, this is like my first like, performance car. Gee, so what was it like? Well, I mean, even the stock form, it must have been oh, pretty yeah, fast, nah, right? It was ripping, it was fast, because yeah. the stock form was giving out like 510 horsepower. Okay, so is this the C63S? S, yeah. Okay, so S, yeah, wow. Um, so what was it like? Wasn't it fast enough? Oh, no, nah, it was fast. Like, yeah? Every time I was driving, I was, I was scaring myself. Mm. Uh, it did take quite a bit of uh, time to get used to it. Rear-wheel uh, drive. Rear-wheel drive, yeah. Yeah, a bit different. So, uh... I'm happy that I haven't done anything to it yet. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Have you had any moments? Uh, yeah, so many moments. But <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, man, that turning whilst cornering, <laughs> modulate the yeah. throttle, man, smooth with the throttle. But um, now, nah, beautiful. So you've obviously done a few bits to this as well, aside yeah, yeah. from tuning. You've like got what is it like uh, a black theme? Like yeah, murdered out. You yeah, murdered I've, it, haven't you? Murdered it out. Yeah. I've kept like the silver bits going around yeah. the car. Yeah. I just. I, I want that little like stock look. Mm. Um, I haven't, I haven't touched it uh, exterior wise. Yeah. As in, like, I haven't put any carbon bits onto it. Um, all I've done is uh, lowered it by 20 millimeters and I okay. put uh, spaces on. So it's, the front's right. got 12 millimeters and okay. the back's got 15. Yeah. And that is done by Motec Performance. Oh, you went to Motec, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. And interior, man, you just can't touch the Mercedes, right? Yeah, Something nah, else. It's just, it's just luxury. Like it's, mm. it's like it's comfortable. Mm. Alright, so guys, yeah, man. Obviously, I've done a C63 before. Uh, obviously, collab with Jeremy. I thought we'd just go for a spin. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man. Enjoy the video, fun. guys. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Should we let's jump out? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it, man. Jay Rizzy, what is going on? What is going on, bro? Are you, are you ready? I'm ready, man. Right. Like, you good? Yeah. Uh, I'm good, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not as a good driver as you are. No, just no, putting no, it out man. there. So no, if we're doing up in a bush, don't blame me. No, 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 no. We just, uh, you know, a nice sense of yeah. all like, show me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. 
fucking sounds mental, doesn't it? It does, it does. <laughs> and, um, how long did you say you've owned it again? Uh, just over a year. Yo, 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 man, man. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to distract you, like. So when you had it mapped, did you have a choice of, like, different sort of... Yeah. You say you can have a bottom bang and stuff like that? Yeah, or? it could be aggressive, or yeah. you could have it mild, but... Uh, this is their um, aggressive uh, okay. verbal setup. That's why you could hear like gunshots going off in the back. That's what I'm about. Yeah, see, I like that. You see how it's spinning, but yeah, yeah. it doesn't scare you, does it? Nah, yeah, yeah. Guys, the way that this car spins from the rear is so progressive, so so smooth with it. With the uh, with the M car, they're way more snappy, way more snappy. Yeah, no. Nah. You've really got to be ready to catch it and sort of you know be on point for the drive it. See, like that, it's nice, like, traction controls are on point on these as well. Bit of a nut, aren't you, Jeremy, man? Uh, I wouldn't say that, I just, I can't drive it. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's quick, bro. When you had the uh, Motex, was it springs and spacers? Springs and spacers. What was the car like after you had it? Um, had that installed? It it's, more it's, planted. it's more planted, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, it's it's going to be harder over bumps. Yeah. Uh, but it does feel more planted. Right? Looks a million times better as well. Yeah, yeah, way better. Right? Yeah. Guys, the rear of this car, unbelievable, man. It just it almost looks like the CLA, like with the pan roof down. Yeah, no, it's got like that slug almost kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're killing it, man. Twenty one C sixty three. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Oh. Myself, man. And uh, guys, we only live near each other, so if there's any fans in my uh, audience that, that uh, watch Jeremy, just yeah, give us some we... ideas, man. Oh. Like two seconds. <laughs> but, yeah, it's got some pull, man. It does. It yeah, does. pulls, pulls. The cabin is just. How would you compare it to the M4? It's nice more. One. Yeah, it's more. It's more luxury based. Like it's, it's more comfortable. More like. modern, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. In the M4, I felt like I was in like a like, nice race. The M4 felt nice as well. I'm not yeah. trying to knock. Yeah, no, no, yeah. come on, bro. But this is more like more luxury, it makes it more comfortable. Like. Yeah, you got this like wood effect. Yeah, well. yeah. What year is this car? Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay, so it's the uh, seven-speed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it they're dual clutch, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I believe I think so. Or seven G Tronic or something they call it. So you have any more plans for this car? I'm not sure yet. I feel like I've done everything I've needed to do to the car. Yeah. I mean, exterior-wise, yeah, I could. Uh, Add carbon bits around mm. the car, but engine wise and um, tune like other modification wise, I feel like I've done what I've done yeah. the car. I think it's about time you, you drive this car. And, uh, yeah, you want to have a little spin? Yeah. Yeah, every time I, I, I get into one of these, I, yeah. I, I love them, you know that. Yeah, no, it's, it's a different feel to like. Pimped. Yeah. Immediately pimped. Sorry, man, that's not, a, you know, some people probably don't know what that means, <laughs> but it just, it's a nice place to be. Yeah, it feels expensive. Very expensive. That these paddles have got a nice click in you. They must be made of like aluminium or something. But yeah, that sounds evil. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. And the, the wheel, like, as I just said, as we left, it felt real light. But as you start to speed up, you can feel it getting a little heavier. Yeah. When the rear goes, it's yeah. not as aggressive, like, yeah. it's pretty smooth with it. The ride's a little bit firm. Yeah. I think these are firm anyway, like, from factory. Proper responsive throttle, man. Yeah. So driving this now, having that low down power and torque. Fuck, yeah, that's going off here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> I love the driving position in this, and it makes you feel good. Yeah, no. Driving yeah, yeah. this, you know that? Pan roof up. Guys, man, get a pan roof, trust <laughs> me. I know it's all about, um, you know, ultimate driving dynamics when you spec up a car, sunroof yeah. it you know, um, brings more weight above, but for that light coming in the cabin, something else. So yeah, these are what, uh, V8 twin turbos, I think. This is a, a AMG C63S. Yes, that's right, So yeah. they're 503 at stock form, aren't they? And I, I was reading as well, they were like, I think for the S, it's a nine grand extra. The new models, they bumped up the price now. Yeah, well. and then the convertible's four grand extra. Yeah. So a convertible, one of these, I think it's around a 70K mark. Big dome, man. It is, it is a lot. Sick man. Throwing a fucking muscle 
cool car, isn't it? Yeah, nah, yeah. I'm just trying to stick them done, bro. No, no, yeah, man, we're good. Yeah, and it, it, it feels so stable as you start to accelerate, like at higher speeds. I yeah. really like that. Like in my M4, it becomes a little. I don't know, it, you get a bit disorientated almost. This feels yeah, yeah. nice and clear. I don't know if it's maybe because the M4 is faster, I don't know. Like, yeah, it probably but is, yeah. it's like you, you know, you can focus pretty well. Yeah. You've got that V8, so you've got more torque, man, more displacement. Yeah, so in the throttle, we're in like fifth gear now, and it's throwing itself forward. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you scared me there. Place, man. Uh, it's mad, isn't it? Because it's like it just hovers across the tarmac. That's how it felt. I felt yeah, like it was hovering, hovering isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah, it hovers and it just feels safe, like, you know, when yeah, it's yeah. coming out. Yeah, it hovers and next thing you know, it's, it's putting its power down. You know, anybody like that's new to rear wheel drive cars, just know that when you're accelerating around bends, you need to be patient with the front. Oh, it's not like front wheel or four wheel drive cars where you can be aggressive with the steering wheel and aggressive with the throttle. You've got to be very patient with the throttle, man. That's why some people, they get into accidents. You've got to be patient. Patient is the word of the throttle. Once you get into like third gear and you're in the higher speed corners, you can mash the throttle to the ground. But it's those second gear hairpin corners where you get on the throttle, they come out. But this car, the, the, the traction control's very on point on this car, man, so. Bro, I, 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 need, I need more driving tips off you, man. Like, no, no, you're a good driver, bro. You've been driving it for a year. Yeah, nah, yeah. But with your point... Yeah, you said, should just always in the back of your mind. Yeah. Whether your traction is on or off, expect the rear to come out. That's how I drive rear-wheel drive cars. Uh, I'm expecting the rear to come out no matter what. So, so every time it steps out, I'm yeah. always ready. Okay. Not that I'm some talented driver, but I, I do tend to catch the rear end before yeah. it goes because I'm expecting it to go. Oh, and that's how you should drive, like, the rear wheel drive cars, man. Yeah. Like, expect it to come out. Sick, man. You can't beat the noise. Mercedes have absolutely nailed. Because you got to remember, the previous C63 was a naturally aspirated V8. As soon as you turbocharge a car, you lose all the sounds. Like, like if you listen to my car versus this, this sounds way better, doesn't it? Yeah, way better than like. Yeah, obviously, that. my car's loud. It's loud, the yeah. tricks, but, but it's, it's got better yeah, torque. Yeah, like. V8 sound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it feels like it hasn't got LSD almost. Like, um, almost like the inside wheel spun up by itself. As bold boy. What do you think of it power wise, like? It's, it's nice, man. It's, it's very, very yeah. nice. It definitely feels like around the 600 mark. Definitely. Yeah. It's got to be 620. But why? How are you feeling? You feeling you want more power, or the thing is, obviously you could do with a lot of power. But yeah. I feel like this this power right now on running on this car yeah. is it's just enough. Yeah, man. Yeah, like got a 600 brake, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's enough. It's enough for levels. Me. But with your car, the power on that is it, that's just mad. Don't even get me started. On that. <laughs> like, bro, I, I drove that car. And I'm still smiling now. Just I'm driving that car. That car is mad. Yeah, but guys. Before I forget, make sure to check out Jeremy's channel. His link will be in the description. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, man. Cool guy. Like loads and loads of videos. Yeah, 21 years old, nearly a million followers, man. Like ratings. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see you there soon, man. You're, hopefully, you're, man. You're hopefully, I'm on it. I'm on it. just make you feel special straight away Especially, like off yeah, the bat it's yeah. just looking into that corner there man yeah it's like a hilton hotel man i've been staying in a hilton before yeah but <laughs> yeah <laughs> bro it's like looking all mad around there lights and shit yeah bro you got a motor man yeah <laughs> <laughs> the way you're scaring me, scaring me around that corner was mad. <laughs> so what's next for you then, Jeremy, man? Like YouTube-wise? Uh, I, I want to expand into like more of other content. So yeah. that's why, for example, I'm dipping into like the whole car thing. Because I got a passion for cars. Like I like cars, so yeah, yeah. I, I want to keep things fresh on my channels. I, I don't want to just stick to you know pranks, channel tells. I want to keep doing other things. I basically just document my life and the things I get up to. 
So, I think that's the beauty of your channel as well. It's not yeah. really like, so you say you've done a lot of pranking. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think you have got the opportunity to just switch it up to whatever you like, really. Any advice for anybody like um, that's on YouTube. thinking about YouTube? Uh, yeah, if you're on YouTube or, you know, if you're trying to make it on YouTube, just uh, keep it consistent. Make content that you love making. Yeah. Because uh, if, if you don't, if you're making content that you don't like, you're not going to get very, very far with it because uh, you're just going to get bored and it's, it's not, yeah. you're not going to do yourself any favours. No, it's true. Um, it's like myself. Yeah. If I wasn't filming cars, yeah. Because obviously you get to a point, a burnout stage, and then your passion obviously yeah, kicks yeah. in, doesn't it? Exactly. Consistency. Consistency, um, yeah. yeah. And regular content. Re regular content. And then, yeah, just getting people latched on. Because I'm sure everyone's got a different personality, and that, that's the, like, the unique thing about YouTube. Like what YouTube's called, it's called YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Like, it exactly, is literally exactly you, isn't it? Exactly. So, yeah, just keep it consistent, don't give up, and, you know. Keep on it. And YouTube is a lot harder nowadays as well, isn't Way it? Like, harder, like. So you would have started when I started, 2016, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man hit four times the amount of subs in the same time. <laughs> yeah. Screw no. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, the thing is, I was consistent, and uh, I, like I said, I was just bashing out content. Yeah. Um, you do like yeah. little skits, you say as well. Yeah, right? skits as well. So uh, yeah, I tried to do a variety of things. I mean, mm. it, it pays off. It'll pay off for everyone who keeps it consistent. Um, yeah, Jeremy, listen. Um, Thank you, man. Gross. I know you've never done any collabs as yeah, well. Yeah, First man to collab. Yeah, with yeah. Him. So, uh, I appreciate you having me on. on no, channel, no, come bro. on, man. Yeah. Any time, bro. No, no. Yeah, guys, make sure to check out Jeremy's channel. Uh, his link will be in the description below. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.